Patracy. My business is The Uncaged Life, and I work with new coaches to help them learn how to get clients when they're just starting their business. Before I started working with Jada, I was in a place in my business where my team was starting to grow and my business was growing. Um, but the biggest challenges that I was having was mainly around the team building. Like, I don't know how to have a team. I've never <laughs> worked in an office where I had to manage people. And so it was really, really hard to me to just figure that piece out, figure out everything from like what I should be paying people to how to find people to how to manage people and who should even be on my team. It was just all such a mystery to me. And I knew that Jada was great with that. Um, that was one of the main reasons that I decided to hire her. I don't know that I had any major hesitations before working with Jada. I feel like I'm constantly just investing in like trying a new coach, trying a new program. I think that what was different about working with Jada was it was a one-on-one -on -one coach and I hadn't had a one-on-one -on -one coach in a really long time. I was joining programs, you know, lots of group programs um, as I was scaling. And I got to the point where I was really feeling like I needed just all the attention on me. <laughs> for once because all those other programs weren't offering that um so it wasn't so much a hesitation but it was just something that was I was looking for that was a little bit different than the previous things that I'd been investing in in my business some of the biggest results that I got working with Jada were two things come to mind one is finally kind of getting this team shit <laughs> figured out just in terms of um in terms of all of it just feeling way more confident hiring people learning when to let people go, um, learning who needed to be on my team, how much I should be paying them, all of that. Um, I just felt so much more confident in after our work together. And the second thing is, this is going to sound kind of corny, but um, this I think was definitely just because I'd been in business for 11, 10 years when I started working with Jada, probably 10 years. Um, but the one of the biggest things that she really helped me with was just trusting that and believing that like I was doing it okay. <laughs> um, so part of it was trusting my intuition. Part of it was just kind of getting away from this worry that like, I'm not doing this right. Everyone else seems to have this figured out and just really kind of leaning more into my way of doing it and letting that just be okay. And that's been so huge and so helpful going forward, even after my work with Jada, because I'm able to now not beat myself up about not doing things kind of in the way that I think they should be done. So there was one point working with Jada where I needed to hire a new team member. And in the past, I had always hired somebody to help me hire because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And so I'd, I'd bring someone in and they would do all the interviews. And I was like, I don't want to have anything to do with it. I don't know how to do it. Um, and it's not that we worked specifically on that, but I think that we kind of had done that process a few times. And I've been working on the team so much with Jada that I remember nearing the end of our, I think we worked together for two years, nearing the end of that, I got to a point where I had to hire someone new. And I was like, I think I'll just do it myself. And she was like, hell yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I think I know what I want. Like, I don't have to have some fancy, fancy interview process. Like I can just have a conversation with a few people. And like, I'm pretty sure I can make that decision. And it felt so good. It felt silly to be like, why was I hiring other people to do this thing for so long? But it felt good to just know that like, I actually was totally capable of doing this big girl thing in my business. I think a lot of the times in the past when I was hiring a coach or joining a program, a lot of it was for strategy. It was like, I need to learn how to do a strategy or I need to implement a funnel or like something really specific like that. And it was so different when I hired Jada um, a lot of it was for team building, but there was still, I was like, she's wicked smart. You know, I want those eyeballs on my business, but it wasn't like, but I actually don't think there was ever a point where we sat down and like got deep into a strategy of like a funnel or an email. It's like, I just didn't, I didn't need that from her. And I think she helped me see it was like, that's not actually what I needed in my business. Like there was kind of peripheral things that I had to work on. The, the strategy was all there. Like it was fine. So I liked being, I liked having that touch point of kind of working on the other things in the business. And I guess that's the, this is the value of working with a coach who works with businesses that are further along because we both knew I already had the strategy and that wasn't what I was coming for. And so we could kind of just like, let that be what it was and work on some of the kind of less tangible things and the tangible things. The team building piece was obviously a huge one, um, but just looking at like my way of working and fine tuning that and my energy levels and how that plays into everything. So it was nice to not be so hyper-focused on like, what's the funnel strategy that's going to make me a million dollars? Like it was, we had that already, you know? 
the thing I like best about working with Jada was that I just had someone to ask questions to. <laughs> like, it was just so nice to have a touch point all the time. Cause there was times where we didn't, you know, we'd have our, our sessions, but there wasn't a lot happening in between. And then there was months where, you know, every week I was like, Jada, this big thing is happening or this drama is happening in my team or this thing happened over here. And it was just so nice to have someone to like roll those scenarios off with and figure out what to do and have just a touch point. Um, I hadn't had a one-on-one -on -one coach in a really long time. And it was just so nice to, it felt like there was someone who had my back. Uh, and I remember when we stopped our work together, um, you know, it felt, it felt complete. And yet I was, I was like, oh my God, but I'm not going to have the, <laughs> can I still call Jada? <laughs> like what, what's the rules here? <laughs> I, you know, I really felt the lack of that for sure. And actually I can talk more to that. Cause I think a big piece of that is it's always been me in my business and feeling like I've kind of just been doing it alone. And like, I'm making big decisions, but, and I have a team, but they're not really in that decision-making process. Cause sometimes those big decisions are about them. So it was just so nice to have, to not feel so lonely and trying to figure out how to do all of this and, you know, having someone who's kind of not on my team and impartial to it all to run stuff by and just, yeah, help me not be so alone in all of it. I think one of the most helpful things that we did together was really laying out team roles and responsibilities and salary ranges and just having someone to kind of look at that because I was just hiring kind of willy nilly. Like I need someone in here and I don't know what the job should be and I don't know how much I'm supposed to pay them and just kind of getting an idea from someone else about like, what else do other people do in the industry? What are people paying? What are the job descriptions look like, can you smush these two roles together or not? And really having her sit down and like, look at those individual roles with me and help me map them out was so helpful because coming in as a solopreneur with a piecemeal team, I didn't know how to do any of that. It's funny because I was in business for 10 years when I hired Jada and I was pretty confident and I was quite very successful. Um, but the thing that I feel more clear on now after working with her is that I know what's best for my business. And I think I was always kind of looking for somebody else to tell me the next thing I should do. And even with Jada, I was like, what should I do? How do I do the team thing? How do I do this thing? And, you know, she would tell me, but I think that she really helped me just trust that I knew that I knew it, that I knew enough that I could actually do it. And really looking back at like, I remember at one point she's like, you've, how long have you had your business? 10 years. Okay. And has there ever been a year where you haven't made any money? Or has there ever been a year where things have gotten significantly worse rather than, than grown. And I was like, no. And she's like, okay, so your business isn't just going to blow up next year and you're going to have to fire your whole team because you didn't make any money. Like that's just not going to happen. So I think just reminding me of the track record that I already had coming in was really useful to help me build up just some of my own confidence that I know what I'm doing and that I don't actually need some other person or course or strategy always telling me what the next step is. Definitely, if you're a business owner who has been doing it by yourself for a long time, whether or not you have a team um, and you're at the place where you sort of feel like the bottleneck isn't the strategy or the pricing, but it's more the the other pieces around growth. For me, that's where that's the place I was at. Um, and I love working with someone who worked with successful businesses. It just felt like such a difference than working with a coach who focuses on kind of a lower level of business because we could just talk in those terms and she got the struggles I was having. Whereas yeah, other programs I was in didn't quite, was never quite meeting me where I was at. So I definitely think that level of business where I think I was at um, high multiple six figures when I hired Jada, like shit was working, you know? Um, and this was really about fine tuning everything else around, around the business. If you are thinking of hiring Jada, I would hundred percent do it, especially if you're someone who has been in the place where I was, where you've done a lot of group things or masterminds, like where there's been a lot of other people involved. And those are really helpful for lots of different reasons. But at this stage of business, when you're in this growth stage, when there's team building things happening and there's mindset things happening for the next stage of growth, there's something so invaluable about just having one person, one coach to go to and not being one in a sea of many or trying to follow some 
prescribed system or strategy that a course is teaching. It was just such a game changer to have that one-on-one -on -one support. For me, that was the biggest thing was just having like one touch point for whatever I needed to show up with. It was almost like going back to the beginning of my business where I just had a business coach and anything I showed up with was fair game. And then I kind of went to more strategic follow a prescribed thing. And then I, it was really nice going back to that just one-on-one -on -one, having somebody who was just in my corner the whole time. Thank you.